The stands are filling up here at Colonial Plaza. Golly, this is going to be a great one. Hello, friends. I'm Colonel Failure. We've got a home game today uh, as we take on uh, the Erg Mellonflex Chroniclers. Uh, BDP in desperate need of a win just to try and, you know, remember how we can do that. Uh, maybe, maybe today will be our day. It's a hammock showdown. Well, uh, here's Vanessa and uh, and Valerie obviously plays for us. So, uh, so well, it could go either way. Uh, Richard Boom is pitching for us, which is not a, the best sign you've ever seen in your life, but it's okay. It's going to be fine. Uh, Vanessa slaps one up there and Valerie can't make the dive. And that's Hammock on first. Here's Alfredo Singularity. Uh, not a great player. I don't know why they've got him second in the lineup, but, you know, they know what they're doing, I suppose. They've got a better record than me, that's for sure. And they've stolen second. Terrific. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's fine. It's very, very early days. You've only pitched three balls so far. Uh, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't sweat any of this stuff yet. There's a very long way to go uh, before you can give up on life. Uh, that's a nice piece of fielding. And that's the first out. He's Cooper, right? And uh, he's going to be uh, trying to try to turn something around here. We've still got a runner on second. All right. Yeah, start with something different. No, no, no. Start with something obvious. Uh, and then change it up in subsequent innings. Because that way... Uh, they haven't seen it all immediately. Well, okay. Yeah, no, you've got to you've got to keep them guessing a little bit. Well, you've just thrown two fastballs. Try a change up. You never know. No, no, he's just fouled that one off. Well, to be honest, the pitch wasn't on target. Uh, Richard Boone, not it's, no. Richard Boone's out in the. What are you even talking about? Great catch. Coral success there, sliding in. Forget I was talking about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's all good. And his flash bandit, their last opportunity, but he's got a heck of a lot of power behind his swing when he chooses to use the power in that fashion. He'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Shandy Worthless makes the jump but can't quite do it, and that's gone into a really awkward position, and that will give the opening run of the day. Tremendous is Sally Rhythm. She's in a positive frame of mind. Well, that's nice. That's, that's what we want. Well, okay. Well, well and truly suckered her with that one. So we're expecting the fastball that I'd been doing the entire game. Valerie will wrap that one up and that will wrap up the opening gambit. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it could have been worse. They've got some, they've got some good players. Uh, pitching today for the Chroniclers is Lee Hu, uh, who was originally, I, I think, the first baseman. No, second baseman uh, for... Uh, no, because who's on first? Oh, yeah, that's right. The original BDP first baseman. Uh, anyway, uh, Valerie puts an absolute demon of a hit down to left field and will take her base. Very nice. Very nice. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. Lost her 400 batting average in the last game, but is still oh, one or two hits away from regaining it. So you never know. I mean, you know, if you can't have wins, then just try and recapture some uh, some magnificent batting averages or some such. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know. That's possible. That is more than possible. That's a goer. All right. All right. Okay, there we go. Well, we managed to uh, managed to get two bases out of the runner there, but I tried to run too early with the, the uh, with the hitter. And that leaves us with runners at the corners. Could have made a double off that. Ho hum, never mind. Still, no outs. Uh, this is going quite positively for us so far. Uh, the only way it could go better is if I were to now kill the pitcher. Oh, that was a perfect pitch. Yeah, I know. Two strikes, one ball, Cindy Vappi. That one was possibly a little high, but we took no chances and just fouled it off. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. No, no, no. No, oh, they got inside my head on that one. Yeah, yeah, I was so certain that was just going to be a little bit high, but I thought we could get it anyway, but we couldn't. Here's Chubbs Beaver. Come on. Let's turn this into a score. Here comes the score. There it is. Right, tied it up. Lovely. 
Magnifique. Here's Shandy Worthless. Runners now first and second with one out. Shandy could ruin it for everybody, or not. Let's find out. Come on, Shandy. Come on, son. Come on, you've got this. That's a hit. Yep, yep. And the bases are loaded. Oh, no. Well, normally at this point, we'd be waiting for Dick Yardline to ruin it. But instead, it's Bernard Dunk, who's back from his week off. Uh, let's see if uh, if Bernard has, has, has got malevolence in his mind. Don't even know what that means. Well, he's out. Yeah. Almost got a double play off that one. But we were quick enough. Here's Dick Yardline. He's going to try and screw it all up. We almost, I, I very nearly put Johnny Touchdown in his place, uh, but uh, it would have resulted in a worst field, worse fielding situation, which was not what I was about. That could be a base hit. It is a base hit, and that's another run. All right, Dick, you survive another go. We're going to come up short, unless Coral sticks this over the fence, because we're now only a couple of players away from the pitcher. Uh, so we're going to be wasting, wasting runners here. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We've scored runs, and that's a good place to start. Ball two. Coral waiting for something. Is that what she was waiting for? No. Yeah, but no. Okay, well, I mean, that could have gone better, but at the end of one, it is two to one in favour of Bulldozer Power. And looking pretty lively at the batting, which is no bad thing. Uh, next up to the plate, you've got Braindig Gladwin. Uh, who's doing, doing pistol fingers at the crowd there. Ah, super. Uh, right. Come on, Boomy. Let's do this. All right, Boomy tries one there, and that uh, that went pretty much as, as expected. Not a great pitch, but that's fouled off as well. Okay. Stick one outside, just to, you know, keep it lively. That's well outside. Yeah, he's fouled that off as well. He shouldn't have got anywhere near that. That was so far outside, it was ridiculous. Try the old change-up again. Nope. Okay, back to the fastball. Good pitch. And that one is sent straight up to centre field. This is not going to be a low-scoring game. <laughs> uh, we'll make you say that. Well, everybody seems to be getting hits and whatnot. Here's Cuckoo Jorsky. All right, Cuckoo, let's, uh, let's make the magic happen. All right. Strike one. Well, that went better than anticipated. Nice bit of inside there. Can Valerie get underneath it? She's going to have to run, but she does have it. Chuck it a second anyway. There you go. Here's a pitcher. It's Lee Hu. And uh, Lee's actually got some batting ability. How much is debatable, but, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see, won't we? There's the bunt. And there's the out. You idiot. Nice dive there from Bernie Dunk. Uh, and we make the play. Is Flapjack Nope. We're not actually at the end of the batting order. Uh, Flapjack Nope is currently wounded. I don't know. Have they not got any other players? Uh, that, I mean, that's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird one. Anticipated the fastball on the second pitch. Okay. And uh, we're we're well off target here. Okay, stop mucking about and put some on target. Uh, and that will be a base hit. Okay. Cookie will throw the second. Two outs now. And uh, runners first and second. Vanessa Hammock back for another swing. All right, Vanessa. Yeah, nice to see you. Uh, your sister sends her regards. Four one. Right. Yeah. Let's let's see if we can't have a defensive run here, kids. That would be good. Yeah. Second curve, but we'll fling it over there somewhere. That's not ideal. Nope. Ideal is what it's not. Yard line will throw the second, will throw it home, and not enough. No. Nope. Okay. Nine. All right. Yep. Yep. The deep hit there, allowing the run to be made, is uh, Alfredo Singularity. Okay. Yeah. If uh, if Rich Boom had come into this anticipating a day where he could actually improve his stats, he was wrong. He's just not got enough zip on his fastball. Uh, with a with a better fastball, you can you can get a few people out that way. Anyway, that's caught, and that's the end of that. But not before we gave up a run. Still, it's our turn now, and maybe we can play as well as we did in the, uh, in the flip 
been it, Rich. I mean, you're on swing away, mate. Because, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing to be lost or gained by allowing you to swing away. Anyway, he's out. Could have soaked up a couple more pitches, I guess. But even then, that is just terrible. Uh, here's Valerie Hammock. And she has deployed the Mind Weevils. Yeah, which is why that one went quite wildly awry. Oh, well, that's strike two. Okay. That's obviously a ball. Yeah. So's that. Yeah. Full count. Valerie. That was close, but I decided to uh, to take it because, obviously, every time you walk a batter, your pitcher loses confidence in themselves. Oh, no. Yeah. Whoa! There was some zip on that one. I missed on the swing there. And uh, Cookie Peaches Wallace hoping to capitalise on the runner on. What are you even doing swinging at that? Um, no, it's uh, it's all happening. Yeah, wait for it. What are you doing swinging at that? Well, I'm in I'm in that kind of mood now. Yeah, get your judgment back in. You've turned your judgment off. Right, there you go. Right, ball two, strike two. That's the ticket, but it's going to be caught. Yeah. Yeah, okay, finally. Finally swung at something that was actually swingable, uh, but it didn't get us out. So here's Cindy Vapid with two outs and a runner on first. Can we convert this into anything worthwhile? Well, that's that's positive. But it's only any good if we now manage to turn that into, you know, runs and stuff. Here's Chubbs Beaver. Got us the run batted in to lead off our scoring in the first inning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to try and take advantage of that. No, 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 no. no. Come on, Chubbs. Chubbs slides one up to centre field. I was very tempted to push a yeah, go for it button. We might even have made it, but I wasn't. I wasn't feeling that confident. No, throwing it away on an attempted run. That's just not how we do things around here. No, you throw it away with the bases loaded like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, Shandy Worth was there, not able to cut through. And at the end of two innings, it is two all. Okay, here's Cooper, right? And uh, he's up next with his big tash. And his big hair. And his big chin. And his big bat. Good, good, good. He's big all over the place. Cookie, he's also big out. So there's that. His Flash Bandit managed the double first time out. And it's probably going to make him feel very confident in himself. Uh, and he didn't he didn't think that that one was any good because it wasn't uh, unfortunate that one was good though well ish it wasn't exactly where we wanted it nice yep okay and then something sliding outwards lovely shandy shandy has that one we'll toss to the pitcher and that's the second out good work team here's sally rhythm Part of me thinks that Sally Rhythm used to be a pitcher, but I can't I can't say that for absolute certainty. I was fairly certain she was a pitcher at one point. Well, whatever. Whatever indeed. Uh, she has the mind weevils, and, uh, and Richard Boom is very obviously afflicted at the current time. However, that one's gone straight to Chubbs, and that'll wrap that up then. Lovely. No score for the Chroniclers in inning number three. Well, I mean, we've got we've got a go-ahead opportunity here. Here is Bernard Dunk. All right, Dunkers, let's do this. All right, yeah. Well, he wastes no time in getting out. Yeah. All right, thanks, Bernards. Lovely to have you back in the lineup. Here's a tricky, dicky yard line. Well, we still don't know how we feel about him. Largely hatred at the moment, uh, but that's only because of a string of bad performances. But not so bad that you just kind of go, oh, they're so bad, these performances. No, you're just going to go, they're quite bad performances. Would they, he's not playing when I need him to play. What about now? Nope. No, he's not playing now either. Well, it was Nope making the uh, fielding move there as well. Hilarious. Ah, you should be on the stage. All right, here's uh, Coral Success. Come on, Coral. There's nothing to lose here. Just, all right, okay, I guess there's that to lose. Coral's out as well. Okay, well, at the end of three, it is still 2-2. My prediction about this being a high-scoring game, so far, I could be wrong. But I'm wrong a lot of the time, so that doesn't faze me in the slightest. Uh, here's uh, Brandon Gladwin. 
down for a down for a bit of batting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And for those of you outside of the uh, fail brigade, oh, lovely. Bye bye, Brandon. Um, if a player has a moderately sensible name uh, or one that is a horrendous pun, it probably came from the fail brigade. Uh, you can join the fail brigade and get your own character in the Dozerverse if you choose to do so. Uh, but uh, my my names tend to form, follow a, quite a strange and obvious format once you get used to them. Uh, so there's that. Anyway, a strike two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, that's nice. It is nice. And that's a strikeout. Come on, Boomy, get some confidence on. Here's Lee Hu. Okay, Lee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two outs. And the pitcher is the last man standing. Is he, though? Yeah, he's given that one straight to Chubbs, who will huss it over the first. And that's the third out. All right, defense starting to uh, starting to come into action uh, for BBP. Here's Richard Boone now. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, Rich, do your best. That's all I can really ask of you. Uh, or do, do your best or better. Yeah. Well, he's pinged that one up into the sky, and it's going to be caught. There you go. Ah, he's a pitcher. I mean, you can't expect too much. Back round to Valerie Hammock. Mind Weevil's got her a walk last time around. And here's the 50th pitch from Lee Hu. Okay, he's going to be getting tired soonish. I mean, I'm tired of him already. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you're not the one who gets to decide whether he's sat down or not. Three balls in a row. There's a fourth. It's another walk. And the Mind Weevil's doing their work once again. Cookie Peaches Wallace aiming to capitalise on the runner on first base. Or, you know, get both herself and the runner on first base out, which wouldn't be entirely unexpected. Still, another two balls. Yep. Cookie's in no rush, because I just told her that. Yeah. Yeah, three in the dirt. Maybe could have stolen there. If, well, I would have had a successful steal if I'd have been attempting to, but I wasn't, so it wasn't. All right, there's the full count. Cookie, is she going to do anything? She swung, but it's not far enough. No. And that one's caught in the outfield. Two outs now, and uh, Cindy's going to try and... Well, I mean, to be fair, Cindy's just likely to get on base, and then someone else will get everybody out. I mean, that's, that's how these things work. Although that is a lovely hit, and we're going for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Here comes the throw. Oh, it's so close, but we got in. A double from Cindy, and we make a run. Flaming Nora, that wasn't that wasn't easy. No. Uh, here's Chubbs, and uh, they've they've killing their pitcher. Uh, Jill Tequila is coming on instead, and uh, Jill's pretty capable. But uh, a reliever already in the fourth. Not a good sign. That's all right. Yeah, I know, but it means that if we're now uh, if we're now efficient at uh, at waiting out pitches, we can start to destroy their uh, their bullpen. Okay, all right. Well, carry on then. That's a nice hit from Chubbs, but it's not got the distance, and that'll be the end of that one. Uh, but BDP knock in another run to take the lead. Three to two is the score after four innings. Flapjack Nope is next up to bat. Six. And despite my criticisms of his uh, of his physical prowess, managed to get himself on base last time around. Um, but, uh, you know, can he do it twice? Chubbs falls over. And not only is he going to get on base, he might even get second. Rich Yardline with the throw. And there we go. That's a double. Well... What can you do with that? Great. Not an awful lot, I'll be honest. Here's Vanessa Hammock. Two singles and a run batted in for her so far today. She's having a good game with her sister in the outfield. Well, infield, but on the opposite, opposite team. What? Oh, just don't worry about it. That one's gone skyward. Yard line's in the, in the region, but no good that is. And Hammock slaps in a home run. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, that is her 14th run battered in this season. She must be quite pleased with herself. Yeah, I know. 
but she's she's damaged the confidence of my pitcher. I don't like that when it happens. Well, get over it and start pitching. Okay, strike two with a nice uh, nice pitch there. Uh, let's throw a big sinker outside. <clears throat> and that one has been fouled off. Okay, all right, now what? Uh, speedy one, sort of outside. There it is. There you go. It's another strikeout. Good work, Boomy. It's not really his thing, but he's made it work. Uh, here's Cooper, right? And uh, he's... Uh, well, he's got no pressure, really. There's no one on base, and they have one out. He anticipated the first pitch slider. I don't do those very often, but he anticipated it. Oh, that one's, that one's horrible. He anticipated the mid-count curve. Is he anticipating everything? Go on, go on, go on, Shandy! No! Dives, but just short of the target. Uh, two balls, one strike now. Uh, Shandy there almost making a play, but didn't. Fouls that one off. All right, how do we finish it? Uh, up and away. No, 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 no. No, 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 that one, that one didn't work. Uh, okay, that's, oh, dangerous. Fouled it off, okay. <clears throat> you shouldn't have been able to. That was so far outside the strike zone, it was ridiculous. That was a beautiful pitch. He's fouled that one off as well. All right, just keep it basic. With the full count, we don't want to, we don't want to give up a flipping walk. That one's fouled off as well. Uh, Shandy there having a little lie down in the middle of things. Try to change up. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Home run. Okay. Yeah. And instead, it's off the fence. Coral will field that. Uh, he only managed to get a base hit off that one. Took his flipping time, though. No, certainly did. Here's Flash Bandito. Uh, as he's known in Mexico. Yeah. Cindy, not even close. Cookie, not even close. And that's trouble. Yeah. They're not going for home, are they? No, no, they're not. But they're going to double off that one, which not means they've got runners on second and third is Sally 20. Rhythm. Boom, are you still in this game or what? Now, Rhythm's got mind weevils. I think Boom could see out the inning. Well, okay. Uh, how many runs are you going to let him give up before you decide to pull the plug? Uh, I mean, look, Rhythm's got the, uh, got the weevils and that that reason we're going to keep him in they've only got one out yeah i know shandy can't even get to that one you fat oaf and that's going to give up two runs yeah all right well look here's a regular batter in the form of brain dig gladwin and yeah because he's tense and his stamina's down to 50 percent keep him in Get, let, allow him to dig himself out of the hole he's made for us well, I mean, people are going to question this. Well, I mean, I know, but they question everything. Because it's very easy to question things when you're not doing the do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very easy. Very easy. When you're not the one who's, uh, whose career is on the line, that's not a great pitch, but he might swing at it anyway. This is good. Promising. Oh, you useless! Now batting the shortstop, number four. Sorry, the, uh, the mind sensor kicked in there. Um, oh, no. Well, that was a double play. Or oh, would have been if Chubbs Beaver hadn't dropped the... I don't know, what was that? Maybe, maybe an eight-foot toss there from Cindy? You can't blame Boom for that one. That would have ended the inning. Yeah, I know. No, I'm, no that's, that's annoyed the hell out <laughs> I mean, of I, I mean, I love it. Because that's realistic, but at the same time, the timing of realism has not uh, has not been favourable to us there. And boom, kind of goes. What do you mean? I've got to, I've got to keep pitching, and the bases are now loaded. This is a horrendously bad idea. No, we're going to put all of this on Chubbs Beaver. All of it. You sure it's Chubbs? Yeah, Chubbs is a shortstop. You sure? Yeah. Probably. You sure? Yeah, Chubbs is our shortstop. Where do you think he plays? Shandy plays first, yeah. Cindy plays second, yeah. Uh, Valerie plays third. It's Chubbs Beaver. Okay, all right, fine, yeah. Flipping Chubbs Beaver! Yeah, I know, but he's been pretty good at bat. And he hasn't really screwed up in the rest of the season so far. Well, that's as maybe. Okay, well, we tried to get additional outs there. Couldn't quite make it, but the catch. That's two outs now. Here's Flapjack Nope. 
And we've got an opportunity to maybe turn this around a bit. Uh, Rich, dig deep, son. Dig deep. I'm not taking you out. I reckon you can get out of this. You sure? He's, he's rubbish now. All right, maybe one more pitch. Mm, you know, I, if you can't get this guy, you can't get anyone. Well, he's, there's nothing wrong with his batting. It's just his speed that's off. And Dick Yardline makes the save. All right, good. Well, we gave up four there, and that's not what you want to see in the slightest. Uh, that means we now need to dig deep and come back from behind. Is Shandy worthless? Shandy, are you in the mood to dig deep and come back from behind? Well, here we go. He wastes no time, and he's put some steam on that one, but it's not on the right side of the foul line. Okay. I thought we were going to ride out some pitches. We are, we are. I forgot. It was a nice pitch, which is why I swung at it, and it almost did the thing. However, that one did the thing. Shandy will get onto first. Okay. All right. Yep, yep. Bernard Dunk now. 0 for 2. He's a reliable batter, which is why we were looking forward to getting him back in the lineup, but he hasn't been reliable today. No, he's been the other thing. Unreliable. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could rely on him not being good. That's not the kind of reliance that we want to really strive for here at the uh, Bulldozer Power, but he smacks that one up to centre field, and he'll be on base as well. Runners now first and second. Okay. Uh, a dinger from Dick Yardline, and, uh, and we're back in this thing. Well, I'll settle for Dick Yardline not doing a double play. All right. Anything other than a double play, and... Uh, and Dick doesn't incur any more ire than usual. Oh, he'll be so grateful for that. Anyway, that's ball three. No strikes yet, and that's another ball. Dick gets to walk. Okay. Coral success. Going to try and turn this into something because we've now got bases loaded. Coral's only 0 for 2 today as well. Big hit. Has it got the range? I'm going to go with no. You're wrong because that, my friends is a grand slam. Four beautiful runs there for BDP. Coral success, only a second run of the season, uh, but that's what we were waiting for. That's what we needed because there's no pressure now on Dick Boom. Do you want to sit him? Oh, yeah, we could, bring in a, we could bring in a hitter since I'm taking him off anyway. Yeah, all right. Cheese? Uh, partisan? Yeah. Hobo. Uh, I'd rather save Hobo for when uh, when it's a critical situation. Okay. Touchdown. Yeah. Okay. Right. Bring in the new boy. Come here, new boy. Let's see what you can do. Flip here. He's tall and he's got a giant head. I worry that he might fall over. Um, yeah, he does look a little top heavy. Does, uh, does Johnny touchdown. But maybe he'll be fine. Well, he's fine enough to get a base hit there. And no outs here in the bottom of the fifth. BDP having turned things around and, and come back into the game just as quickly as they were falling out of the game. And we've got the mind weevils of Valerie Hammock with, uh, with an opportunity presenting itself. Okay. Yeah. All right, Val. Yeah. That's not good. I was just debating whether to try stealing with JT. Uh, but uh, that's moot now. That was a double play. And uh, all of a sudden, we've got two outs. And Cookie beaches Wallace up to bat. All right, Cookie. There's no worries here. We've done well this, this inning already. But that's a lovely hit. And Cookie hits a homer. Uh, it's a shame about that double play. Because that would have been quite useful. But it's all quite useful. She's in. That's her seventh of the season. Lovely job, Cookie Peaches Wallace. Here is uh, Cindy Vapid. You know, you say Cookie Peaches Wallace makes it sound like Peaches is in inverted commas. And it's not. She's got a double barrel surname. It's Peaches Wallace. Ah. I mean, may need to change my emphasis a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Well, that's three balls in a row for Cindy. One strike so far. We'll take that one as well. There you go. Right. Cindy? Low, surely. Yeah. That's a walk. Cindy scampers up to first. And here's uh, Chubbs 
Yeah, no, 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 no grinning for you, Chubbs. Now you're, you're on the naughty step. And Jill Tequila is going to sit down, and they're bringing in their second reliever of the day. It's Ursula Fandango, uh, who's got a fairly demon junk pitch when she turns her mind to it. Ready? Show me. That looked pretty straight to me. There was nothing junk about that. That's an attempted base hit, and it's not. It's out. Okay, well, that was fine. Uh, JT, you're off. All right, thank you. It was, you. You played well. Who are we playing? Who are we playing and bringing in? Not tools. No, 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 not tools. But violence is available. No, he's not. His stamina's low. Santino Bananas. Oh, it yeah, could be. Yeah. All right, Santino, in you come. Good. Well, at the end of five, BDP are leading eight to six. You know what I was saying about it not being a high-scoring game shortly after I predicted it was going to be a high-scoring game? Yeah. It's sort of getting towards being a high-scoring game now. Here's Vanessa Hammock. Three of three today, including a home run and two singles. She's here. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's no doubt about that. Uh, Santino is a junk pitch specialist, but actually only has a curveball at his disposal, but that was nice. A slightly drifty two-finger ball fast variety there. And that's a strikeout. Some absolute demon pitching there from Bananas and his Alfredo Singularity. Uh, he's 0 for 3 uh, so far with his with his efforts to play baseball today. He's He's put some smoke into the air with that one. And it's caught by Coral, who sees through the smoke, identifies the ball, and then catches it. It's Cooper, right? And uh, he's one of three. Yeah, a little look at the camera there. Well, he's clearly, uh, he, you know, he's off his game. He's aware of the big pressure moment. Valerie will make the stop, passes to first, and that's all out. Very quick. Oh, dear. Now, we need to build on our lead, please. Well, if there were anybody on the team that were likely to build on that lead, it's Shandy Worthless. Shandy, what have you got for us? Well, he's got nothing off that, because, I mean, that was just a terrible pitch. Okay. Yeah. Come on, wear down this reliever as well. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm working on it. Two balls, one strike. Three balls. All right. Yeah. That one down the middle. Yep. What are you going to do with this? Give me something I can hit. Shandy there with another base hit. Okay. He started cold, but he's warmed up since then. Uh, it'd be nice to see him slap one over the fence, but it's always nice to see anybody slap one over the fence, but Shandy particularly, because he's our fence over the slap. Bernard Dunk goes for the first one and is out. Oh, Bernard. I mean, it was it was the right pitch to swing at, but Bernard, dearie me. Yeah. Would have been better if you took five pitches, then struck out. I'm just saying. Still, is Dick Yardline. And uh, Dick is employing patience. Uh, because the balls keep coming. Fandango is not very accurate at all. Oh, right. I should have clocked that sooner. Rather than just reading the pitches, read the picture. And if you know they're inaccurate, have more patience and the good things will come. Uh, round to home run hero, Coral Success. One out at the current time. That number will change in due course. But is this the course at which point it will change? Two balls, one strike. Coral, not in a hurry. That's a nice one, though. Has it got the distance? No, it has not got the distance. And that's the second out. Should have pulled your runners back. I know. Yeah, I know. It did look like we were coming back, didn't it? Yeah. Anyway... Here's Santino. We're going to let him swing away. We've got two outs. We've got two on. A base. Oh! And they threw the ball at him directly. That's. That's rude. He'll take his base. Valerie Hammock's now pitching. Now, now batting. Uh, however, Fandango has had the confidence la lock, lack, decline that comes from having hit the player. Yeah, but has thrown two strikes in a row. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mind weevils be damned. Valerie Hammock strikes out, and that was a massive opportunity just thrown, thrown away. Oh, yeah. Now we have to hope that Boomy is not 
No, bananas. The bananas is not wounded. Well, we'll see. He only got hit in the hip. Shouldn't affect his throwing too much. His flash bandit. And uh, nope, Santino looks absolutely fine. Good. Phew. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got relievers available, but I want to keep my rotation consistent in order to make the best out of these things. Okay. All right. There you go. That's nice. Yep. Okay. Right. Now, big curve. Big time curve from Santino Bananas. That's beautiful. Okay. Yard line. Makes the catch. All right. One away. Here's Sally Rhythm. She's got mind weevils. But uh, you know what? They don't appear to have affected Santino too much because he is mood right. Uh, and that can only mean good things if we can, you know, keep his play consistent or at least coherent. Big time curve. And that one is twanged off there over the foul line. Right. Uh, one of these that just drifts outside. You can try it. That's not what we wanted, but it's fouled off. Uh, big time curve. Big time curve. That's off target as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, same again. Just get one on target. That's better. There you go. And Bananas is uh, is claiming that one. Well, he should. It's a strikeout. His uh, brain dig. Okay. Two outs. Uh, and this could be a, a nice positive defensive inning for BDP if we can pull this off. And as much as, you know, we don't often get a good defensive inning, it's nice when we do, and therefore I claim it. Even if we're, even if we're playing quite badly across the board, a nice inning on defence is a good thing. That's out number three, and a nice inning on defence is wrapped up. Okie dokie. Right, here comes Cookie. She's 2 of 4 today. She got that solo home run last time, which was delightful. Uh, but we're still trying to uh, break down their, their batting ball, ball pen. That's what they call it. Uh, two strikes. Yeah. Cookie. That's low. That's obviously low. Cookie. That's low. Cookie. It's low. Cookie, you've killed yourself un oh, unnecessarily. Oh, well. One out. It's Cindy. Double, single, walk, run, batted in. The usual Cindy Vapid array of business. Because uh, Cindy Vapid is all business. Uh, strictly, strictly Vapid, strictly business. Ball one. Okay. That one. She makes contact, but she's going to be out. And that's two outs now. And it's Chubbs the Beaver who's coming in. And there's another pitching change. This is what we wanted to see. Uh, Ursula Fandango's going away. Hank Fungible's coming in. Hank's a pretty decent pitcher. Uh, yeah, he is a pretty decent pitcher, but he's uh, he's obviously been used recently because his fitness isn't all that. Okay, well, it's the bottom of the seventh. Yeah. And therefore, you know, forcing them to get through more pitches is... It could work in our favour if we need a ninth inning comeback. We'll see how it goes. Here's Shandy Worthless, runner now on first. Shandy is on fire. Three singles from him today. Well, now would be a good time to do it. Because we'd, we'd be, you know, we'd be quite happy with a home run right now, Shandy. Just saying, that's your special move. Uh, your, your fielding ain't all that, but uh, you are still leading the team in home runs. So now's your time to shine. No, 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 no. Such is the desperation there that he swung at one that was a little too high and it didn't have the distance. At the end of seven... It is eight to six. Bulldozer power in the driving seat at the current time. And Santino Bananas feeling pretty confident with himself, arguably with justification. All right, Santino. All right, let's do this. Pulls a strike there <laughs> from an absolutely awful pitch. Uh, that one, however. And Yardline misses it because he's lazy. Run faster, Dick. Put the effort in. And that gives up a double. Here is Hank Fungible. They're taking him out. Big mistake. Uh, they're bringing on Nomad Gunslinger. Now, don't get me wrong. Good hitter, but they've just burned a pitcher. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Gunslinger. I was fairly certain the Gunslinger used to be a pitcher. 
But it's anybody's guess at this point, and, and honestly, it doesn't really make much difference. Well, it, it does for those of us who value consistency in any way at all. Well, I mean, is that many of us? I mean, they, I mean the viewers here, they were all watching Bulldozer Power, and the one thing you can say about us is consistency, we ain't. Anyway, Nomad's out. Oh, yeah, I know. Burned a, burned a reliever and uh, and got an out as a result of it. Big mistake. Was it the right strategic call here in the top of the eighth? Possibly. Possibly, you know. It might not be a terrible call. Uh, but didn't pay off either way. And there's another strikeout. Bananas is making money. Here's Vanessa Hammock. She's been dangerous. It's almost tempting to walk her. She has been dangerous. She is very good. And she's getting a little bonus because she's a rally starter. Yeah, which I imagine means that in this kind of scenario, doesn't matter. She's hit that one long, high, and caught. Good darts. Okay, well, Gunslinger's out, and they're bringing in relieving pitcher uh, Gillian Voidmonkey, who, I'm not going to lie, is excellent. But she's also a little bit tired. Well, we'll see. Yeah, into the bottom of the eighth now. Here's Bernard Dunk. He's had a single today. Hoped for more from his four at-bats. Still, Void Monkey is tired. So we will hope to, uh, to get her even more tired, just in case we need a comeback in the ninth. Uh, Bernard there forces an error from the second baseman and will make it a first. He shouldn't have done, but he did. We'll take it. Here's Dick Yardline. Two walks for him so far today. That's that's nice. And then he's one of two from his at-bats, which is fine. Yeah, but he just feels underwhelming. Well, regardless, he's done everything you've asked of him. That's a trickler, and that's going to be a double play. C. That's... No, it's not. No, he made it to first. All right. Yeah. All right. Here's Coral. Okay, Coral. you got another one in you. Or, uh, I mean, a, a base hit would suffice, obviously. But uh, if you feel like slapping it over the fence, I'm not going to stop you. We go for the steal. We don't do that very often, and it doesn't work. That's why <gasps> it did work. Stole a base, everyone. Amazing. Yeah. All right, ball two. Uh, yeah. Coral there. Goes for that one. That one was swinging in and down. It was possibly, possibly still outside the strike zone, but it was, the, it was a decent one to swing at. Strike two, ball two. Yeah, Coral. No, no, we're not stealing third. I'm not insane. That never works. However, that's a nice hit. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Goes for home. And we're in. Ex oh, extending the lead there. With a, some actual... I mean, have, did, you, did you see what we've done there? Amazing scenes. Uh, here's Santino Bananas, and he's so confident I'm going to let him bat. We've got a runner on first who's so slow, we are not going to try a steal again. Uh, we only just made it last time. Yeah. Uh, Santino, strike two. Have a swing, son. Have a swing. There you go. Right down the line. And he'll make it first, but he gets his buddy out. Uh, but that brings up Valerie Hammock. Okay. Yeah. Val, what are you feeling like? She's deployed Mind Weevils. Uh, but that doesn't stop Gillian Voidmonkey being an excellent pitcher. However, she's not going to make it to base. And that's out number three. At the end of eight innings, Bulldozer of Power are ahead. Nine to six. Okay, just defend. Uh, now we've got, uh, we've got Quebec currently flexing there in the bullpen. Ready to uh, ready to come in and replace Santino. Yeah, Santino's good right now. He is good right now. Okay, so just pitch, just pitch. Let's see how this first one goes, and then make a call on things. Yeah, because I mean, if they the worst case scenario is they tie things up. Why is that? Well, if they tie things up, it could go to multiple extra innings. You see. However, wow, that was that was good. It was a terrible pitch that was popped up inside the diamond and uh, and caught. So Cooper Wright is on next. 
Okay, one out. Two outs away from a nice win here. That one's gone to Valerie as well. And as much as Vanessa Hammock has had a heck of a day batting for the opposition, uh, Valerie's been playing pretty well there from third base. And here's Flash Bandit. Two doubles for him today. And uh, this, is, this is the one that matters for Santino Bananas. Well, this is the one that matters right now for Santino Bananas. Uh, if he gets on base again, it'll be the next one that matters. Right. That was in. Come off it. Well, okay. I mean, but I mean, even so, that was a that was clearly a good pitch. Valerie doesn't move her feet. You've got to keep your feet moving, Val. Coral with the throw to second, but that is the third double for uh, for Bandit in this game. Is Sally rhythm? Maybe there's a small window of opportunity now for the Chroniclers. That's a bad pitch. All right, just play your game, son. Play your game. Play your game. And that one's gone skyward. This could be it. Vapid is calling for it. And that's the ball game. Out number three. Bulldozer Power with a much needed win. Whoo! Good game. Good game. Um, but we uh, we did manage to stay in control of that one, which is unusual. 17 hits plays 13. Pretty close stuff. The hits were coming. Uh, anyone look particularly good? Uh, for them... Yeah, uh, Flash Bandit with two double with three three doubles for Flash Bandit was pretty strong. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, pitching wise, uh, they threw a couple of a uh, couple of strikeouts. We threw seven, but that's the usual kind of balance. A save for Santino and a win for Richard Boom. Excellent, excellent work right there. Yeah, three stars of the day. Coral success is the only star of the day for BDP. The others are Vanessa Hammock. And Flash Bandit. And I'd say they probably earned it. Oh, look, it's a manage moment. Oh, I can improve the loyalty on one person. Uh, well, it's going to be Cookie then, isn't it? Yeah. There you are. Get get your loyalty improved. Hooray. <sighs> we got 13 games up. Yep, 13 games. Let's make the 13 games be 13 games. All right. Uh, first off, Grunt Auto Group against the Minstrels is a grunt win. The Toy Masters take on the budget roadies. And uh, the Toy Masters with an early lead. But the roadies with a comeback. Takes it to extra innings and the roadies win that one. Grazer Ridge against the Fun Bus. Fun Bus in the lead comfortably. And I've taken it home. Colonel School against the Bongolia Sea Raiders. Uh, is a win for Colonel School. The Port Megan's Pirates now against the Axemen. No, that was the Fire Chiefs. Chefs. Whatever it is. The, the Chefs. Well, you missed the Pathfinders there as well. You're falling behind. Failywood Hills over a team of City Axemen now uh, up against Stardose of Human Resources. Comfortably winning that one. Uh, the Bumps and Medics against the Beekeepers. Beekeepers have got the win there. The Chroniclers in action again against the Nomads. Uh, looking for some redemption, but they don't find it as the Nomads win. The Wizard Hole Wizards against the Toy Masters is a Wizards win. Uh, Lingo Blend lost to Failywood Hills. Then the Peninsula Tra Transport are in our operation against the Miners. Goes to extra inning, but the miners have it. Uh, let's look at the charts. That's what they call them. Uh, in the bombastic division, Grunt Auto Group are leading the way with 14 wins right now. Uh, that makes Bulldozer Power five games out of first. That's not ideal, is it? Well, having, I mean, you've got a 9 and 14 record. I would say that's the bit that's not ideal. Uh, the Fire Chefs are even worse, though, uh, having, as they do, eight wins. And. 15 losses. Good. In the woodchipper, uh, Failurewood Hills, 16 and 8. Doing very nicely. The Port Megan's Pirates are stinking the place up, having the worst record in the league with 6 and 17. Uh, in the whoop whoop, the Pathfinders have got 14 and 9, are looking pretty good. Uh, the Minstrels, only 8 and 15 right now. Hopping over the conference barrier, uh, the Nomads, 18 and 5, are still the team to beat right now. Uh, they're four games ahead of the Wizard Hole Wizards, who, with 14 and 9, would actually be uh, tied for the lead in three other divisions. Grazer Ridge, 9 and 14. It's the smooth division that is the powerhouse, I would say, in the uh, in the league. Zesty division, the Beekeepers are up front with 15 wins. The Bumps and Medics down in last with 7. 
And then finally in the sloganated division, Cheerio Incorporated, 14 wins for them. Toy Masters on eight. Uh, next up, we've got your sweaty marsupials. It's Beretta Triffids pitching for us. For us, uh, Rusty Bullet Hole is going to be pitching for them. And we're going to try and win another one because that's what we're here for. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Bang a subscription this way and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheerio.